Hello there, I'm Jim Harvey and in this short video I just want to show you how you can use Prezi to help you make more powerful, more impactful presentations whenever you stand up to speak. I'll start by showing you the Prezi design screen which is what you can see here where essentially all I've done is I have thrown lots of different assets and visual elements like text like pictures of people, like graphics that we've created in other programs and imported in. I'll just put those back into place. Arrange them on this huge canvas that you can see here. Canvas is what Prezi calls the design screen. And all that I've done is, alongside my script for the presentation, is I've arranged them on the screen and then joined them up in what Prezi calls a path to help me use them to tell a story. You can see here in the left hand column on the screen, every little piece of the presentation I have designed a view, and you can see it by the dotted lines here, that will show particular images in relation to each other at particular stages of the presentation. I just tell Prezi where I want it to look by using these things here, these blue um, 16 by 9 boxes, which we call frames, that you can see here, but are invisible once you start to present. And essentially, that's like my film director. When I say this, I want this to appear, I click my mouse, or I click my remote control device, and that appears on screen. Prezi is really, really easy to use. It might not necessarily look like it from this. And as a presenter's tool, it's really flexible. So let me show you how this presentation works a little bit. So I click the presenter button and uh, I click to my starting point, which is here. And I can start to tell my story. I'll give you a little snippet to show you how it works. And I'd start with the screen black, I guess. Say my introductions, and then show the first piece. It's a stone cold fact that as a presenter, when we stand up to present, 98% of everything that I say will be forgotten by my audience within 72 hours. So for you, everything you say in your next presentation will be forgotten by that audience in around 72 hours as well. And there's lots of evidence that I can share in the presentation if people were interested to explain that. So, you could think that's terrible news, but it's just a psychological fact. Human beings are terrible that remembering detail. We only have to think about studying for exams. When we spend weeks filling our heads with facts and figures and examples, we do the exam, we use all of that information, and then it's gone from us forever. How much of your university or last college exam do you remember? No, because human beings are not designed to remember detail. So if you want to stand out from the crowd, all you have to do is understand that fact and work with it. And the question for presenters is simply, how can you make that 2% that people will remember count? And this presentation is designed to show you how you can get better at making shorter, more interesting, and more memorable presentations to help you stand out from the crowd. So how are we going to do that? Well, all I want you to do is think about three words. Three words that I call fit, focus, and flair. That is the model that we have created over 20 years to help us and our clients do just that. Stand out from the crowd by giving shorter, more interesting, and more memorable presentations. Now here, I want to step out of the, uh, the presentation itself to show you a little bit more about how it's used. And you saw that as I was saying a particular word 
or a particular phrase. I was simply using Prezi for visual emphasis. So when I said fit, focus, and flare, those words appeared on the screen. Now, at any stage using Prezi, I can carry on going on the path. So for example, my next click would take me to zoom into fit if I wanted to. But if I didn't want to, if I thought, well, I'll just talk around those three words and then move to my next piece, what I could do is click to this box here, where I know there's a video that I want to show that exemplifies some of the things that I'm talking about. It's a Steve Jobs video. And I can click to it. I can play that video. What is it? Well, as you know, at, at any stage, I can stop playing that video. I can go back to it. Apple makes the best notebook. I can stop it. I can zoom out. I can zoom out all the way back to the first page that I want to, and then zoom back in again if I want to. I don't have to follow this linear path with Prezi. At any stage, I can simply zoom out from the screen, manipulate what's on screen, and move on. And let's say I don't want to do Steve Jobs anymore, or people have got Steve Jobs, so I could then go and play the next presentation. I just click on the area of the screen that it is, and it's Bill Clinton from the Democratic uh, National Convention in 2012, because I wanted to use Bill Clinton to exemplify some points about speeches as well. I click to it, I click on it. In Tampa, the Republican argument against the president re-election was actually pretty simple, pretty snappy. It went something like this. We left him a total mess. He hadn't cleaned it up fast enough, so fire him. And, and at any stage, I can click off Bill, say goodbye to Bill, and move on to the next stage in the path if I want to, which is another video, Barack Obama. I can move on. on with that. I can play Barack if I want to. I can American go backwards. Free. Yes, we can. I can go backwards a few times. Put us back in. I can see this Bill again. Thing. They convinced me that. I can stop Bill. At any stage in the proceedings, I can get it anywhere in the presentation. And it means that I can have a discussion, I can play a video here, I can play a video there if I want to, I can zoom out, I can go back to the, the big picture if I want to use the big picture again, and at any stage, simply by clicking, I can go back to the last place that I was and play thing that I want to focus on. Prezi is a really interesting... Yeah, we're meant to be educating them for it. ...and flexible tool. Okay, and the last thing will be a presentation Prezi from me. for over four... And if we get bored of me, we can also then, as part of it, I can just click on a hyperlink that I've put into the presentation that would take me to my website and I can use my website in order to go back. And at any stage, I go back to the presentation and I can finish my presentation making the points that I want to make. And that is my story told. Come out of presentation view, back in the design window. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a simple way that you can create presentations that are more flexible, potentially more visually appealing, and potentially more useful than any other presentation tool on the market.